Okay, I am going to show you how to take a screen or a recording from Zoom and put it into your Google Drive and then be able to share it. So I am in a Zoom meeting. I'm going to quick record and I record on my computer is how I do that. And um, if you're recording a long class period, it's going to be pretty long. Um, maybe, uh, maybe you don't need the whole thing recorded. Just, I don't know. But so I'm going to do the recording. So I'm going to stop the recording. Um, it'll be converted. So I'm going to end my Zoom and go find that recording. So I do my recording um, here and it's going to convert it and I can choose. Mine is short. It'll go fast. Yours will maybe take longer if it's a longer one. So I can create a file um, of where I want those to go. Otherwise, just pay attention to where it goes. Uh, maybe I want a new folder called recordings. And so I put them all into that folder, possibly. So that's where I'm going to choose to send mine. Save it there. So I have a um, folder on my desktop now that is called recordings. And here is the recording. So if I come down, and it's in different ways, I can just get the audio. Um, but what we want is the um, MP4 one here. So I could open it up and play with it. I can possibly just click and rename it now. I'm not sure. Yep. So that's probably what I would do. I'm going to call this maybe date it 9 20 9 um, period 1. I don't know. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Google Drive and here's my Google Drive and I'm going to upload that. So another thing you might do is create a folder here in um, your Google Drive that says recordings. And so I could start by creating a folder. I'm going to call it recordings or class recordings maybe. So if you have another one that you do other recordings, but I create that folder, um, get it up here. There's my class recordings. So I'm going to open that and I'm going to upload that video. So I come here to new and I do a file upload and I go back and find it. Remember it was in recordings folder and it was this one that I renamed. So it is doing the upload here, and there it is. So this naming conventions maybe isn't the best. You've got to figure out what, so your students and you both know. So um, now if I open this, it does take a little bit. It might not quite be ready. It might give you a message. Record on my computer is how I do that. So it, um, it might give a message that says I'm, your video is still being processed, and that's okay. Um, you'll just have to give it a little bit more time. But like I said, this was only 18 seconds long, so it wasn't too bad. But you have to remember to open your sharing um, settings. And so over here under the three dots, I can put share, click on the share. Now, right now, um, I can put in specific people's names. So if you had a class list of their emails, you could put that in or I can get the link. So I am thinking you'd want to use this and it's going to be restricted to people with your school logins. So if it's just for students, this would work because it would be restricted to say anybody with the Boyd County account. Or if that's not going to work because you want parents to be able to see it, you need to open up the sharings for everybody. So you click on, yours probably said Boyd County, you click on that, and then right by this little um, down arrow or carrot, I want to put anyone with the link could view it. Um, and so the public's probably not gonna find it, they can't search it, but if you send this link out to parents, they'll be able to watch it. So now anybody with the link is a viewer, and you would copy that link, and then you would go to your email and send that to parents. Um, 
or maybe you post it on your learning management student system for students who weren't there that they can watch it. But I think that's probably going to be the easiest way for you to post longer videos um, so that parents can access them.